Love the Boot Week starts next Monday. It's a statewide effort to keep Louisiana beautiful, where organizations and community members come together to clean up our streets, our parks, our highways. I'm joined by Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser to talk about how you can get involved. Thank you so much for being with us. Glad to be with you. This is next week, the entire week, and you already have a great turnout for people signed up already. Right. You know, in the last two years, we've seen a great increase in participation in Clean Up Louisiana. Over 300 groups have signed up. Nice. Uh, we have 60 parishes. Uh, we want all 64, but um, you know the governor put that task force together a couple of years ago under my office. Uh, we've been meeting monthly to come up with a plan. Uh, it's going to take everybody getting involved, but we can clean up Louisiana. It's far too pretty to leave it as dirty as it's been the last few years. We see progress, but we have a lot of work to do. And you want to do things a little differently this year, walking and using carts and then well, putting yeah. some trash cans in. You know, we looked at the contracts that the state DOTD gives out to clean up the highways. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they cut the trash on the highway, they don't pick it up. So we're going to go out and take a cart and go along and pick it up like they do in Florida. Okay. And try to show and then walk two exits and show we can can save a lot of money and a lot of time if we use these carts like other states. Uh, we're going to show DOTD. I'd love to see us separate grass cutting from litter cleanup, let our department keep Louisiana Beautiful put out the litter contracts mm -hmm. and really make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do and cleaning up the highways. We've got a lot of work to do, but I tell you, the sheriffs are participating. We're giving grants to our sheriffs. We bought some vans so they can take work release prisoners out to clean up their parish. Okay. It's really going to work. We're giving out free cans to municipalities if they agree to empty them. We're putting some on an angle so people can pull over and throw the garbage in high uh, litter areas. Uh, but everybody needs to get involved. We're asking all the businesses to put garbage cans back in the parking lots, like Walmart, and empty them. Mm -hmm. uh, Cracker Barrel, I think, is the only one that has garbage cans in their parking lot. You never see trash there. But we're going to do this. We can clean up Louisiana. That's right. This is something that you want people to do every single day. But next week, every day next week, is really the big initiative, the I've, big push. How can people sign up? Well, they can sign up. They can go to... Um, I love the boot week mm -hmm. org, or keep Louisiana beautiful org, and sign up. You don't need to be in a group. You can do it on your own. You can go out and clean up your neighborhood. Uh, this is a great opportunity for us to show we really care about Louisiana. Plaquemines is your hometown. This is a big story this morning, the toll bridge, that if it were done a certain way, um, residents wouldn't have had to pay a toll. Can you expand more on that for us? Well, you know, when you change leadership, and when I left, they stopped funding the bypass road. Uh, we've Phase one of the bypass road is finished. Okay. Phase two money is in Jefferson Parish, and the third phase was the bridge. They tried to move that money to build a new bridge and tunnel. You can't move money from one project to other. So when that failed, they went to work on trying to build a bridge in the tunnel and accepted a grant that probably shouldn't have been accepted mm -hmm. because you had no control over the tolls. Uh, that bypass road would have been built. It would have been a way in and out, help the port grow down in Plaquemines Parish. So hopefully they can work this thing out because paying that toll is going to devastate the businesses in Bell Chase. The legislation, a new legislative session starts today. What, is, what does your office hope to get out of this one? Well, I'm hoping that they'll allow us to continue the funding. You know, we, li we lifted the 10% cap for in-state spending on tourism. It's worked mm -hmm. well with staycation through COVID, getting people to visit parts of Louisiana they hadn't been to. We've done a lot of work in the parks. Uh, when I took office, they were going to close seven state parks. We not only kept them open, we have many making money today. So I think we've been able to show we've been able to do more with less and manage it like a business. And hopefully the legislature will leave my budget where it is right. so we can continue to get back to those record-breaking numbers. Mm -hmm. In 2019, over 53 million people visited little old Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And they left behind $1.9 in taxes you and I didn't have to pay. That's over $1,100 per Louisiana family. So it's big business in Louisiana. It was the fourth biggest industry. It slipped to five during COVID. We want to get back to those record-breaking numbers. And while we're talking about big news, um, Gail Benson is behind a fundraising effort to revive St. Louis Cathedral. And I know that's obviously a huge win for your office and you want to, or you're going to get together with her in terms of revitalizing the whole square. Right. We want to help. You know, there's a lot of work to be done in the square. We yeah. run the Cabildo on Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. That is a beautiful area, the prettiest area in the city. Yes. So I commend her. She gets involved in so many great projects here in Louisiana. So uh, we're going to work with her to do whatever we can to help make that happen. Another great project here in yeah, a lot of positive stuff. Uh, thank you so very much, Billy Nungesser. We appreciate your time. If you want to register for Love the Boot, you can do that at the website lovetheboot.org. All right, time's now 746. Let's get back over to Peyton. All right, thanks, Leslie and Billy. It's uh, 